Hey YouTube, just thought I'd take a minute to um, tell you about this beautiful Australian hardwood that I'm working with today. It's a eucalyptus tree or a gum tree called ironbark and it's called ironbark because the bark resembles the slag or the leftovers from a process of removing metal from its raw ore and uh, now these trees can grow to heights of between 80 to 120 feet. It's like 24 meters to 36 meters high. And they have a very high resistance to um, rotting, resistance to heat and fire. And uh, in cases of extreme fire, which we tend to have down here, uh, where leaves and shoots are removed or burnt off, the bark actually aids in the protection of epicormic shoots and what are epicormic shoots? They're shoots that lie underneath the bark and eventually shoot out after the fire's gone. And this wood has a density rating of 1130 kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, that's approximately 1 point US, 1.2 US tons or 1.1 imperial tons and believe it or not this wood won't float and uh, a furniture maker down here in Australia called Nicholas Datner actually used ironbark wharf piers that have been submerged for, for 80 years for a range of tables. Uh, not sure exactly when he did that, but uh, as you can imagine, they would not have been a low priced item. Now, the heartwood of this timber is quite red as you can see in those previous pictures and uh, the sapwood is a pale, pale yellow colour uh, and as I said it's quite dense fine grown timber and it's pretty hard on on your lathe tools and I can tell you you've got to sharpen pretty often uh, some some of the cuts can come off like um, like a sandblaster and uh, some come off in nice uh, curls or peels and uh, anyway, I do like to try and make these bowls look as rustic as I can by leaving in inclusions in the odd tool or sanding mark. And people down here in Australia seem to like that. And uh, I've got to say, I'm not a big fan of uh, resin fills or colours. Um, they do look good, but I try to stick to the natural look. That's just me. Anyway, um, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'll um, stop talking now and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So uh, thanks for watching if you did and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.